In this video, I'll give you a very simple, foolproof way to find out how many calories you need to gain some weight. Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness. Fellow Hard Gainer here recently went from 129 pounds to 160 pounds. And here on this channel, we give you all the tips and tools that you need to really make some gains and ultimately crush the scale and your fitness goals. If this sounds like something that you might be interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell next to it. That way you don't miss out on any important information. And hey, make sure you stick around until the end of the video. I'm gonna give an important power tip that's gonna help you crush your fitness goals. All right, so check it out. Before you even hit up the gym, the first thing you need to do is make sure you got your kitchen and your diet game on point. You need to figure out how many calories you need, what your macros are, how much protein you need, what you're gonna eat, figuring out a meal plan, having a grocery list, all that stuff is super important. A lot of other videos will give you a formula, right? And you gotta punch in all these numbers, your weight, your height, and all that stuff is good. It'll help you find out what your BMR is, which is your basal metabolic rate. It tells you how many calories your body needs in order to function properly. Then it'll have you use something like the Harris Benedict formula, which will help you even more to find that base rate. Then it'll have you add 500 calories on top of that end number that you get from all those formulas. All right, that's a great formula. It's good to use. There's nothing wrong with using it. But an easier way to do it for those who are trying to gain weight really trying to put on the mask for us hard gainers, right? The easiest way to do it is to take your body weight and multiply it by 20. Yes, it's that easy, I promise you. Take how much you weigh, multiply it by 20. Then you use that number as your base for your caloric need. Now, quick power tip for all of you hard gainers out there. Understand this. Any number that you get from any formula online, even this number, all of it is only an estimation to find out what your sweet spot is to really make those gains. And what I mean by that is, any number that you get isn't gonna be the exact number that you need to put on weight, right? What you have to do is test it out. You have to use it to experiment. You have to fail. You have to basically use the trial and error method. So you're gonna take that number, your body weight, multiply by 20, you're gonna take that number and you're gonna try it out for a week. Hit that number, whatever the number is, let's say it's 3,000 for example. You're gonna hit 3,000 calories every day for a week. Make sure you measure yourself at the, not measure yourself, make sure you weigh yourself at the end of the week. If you don't weigh at least a pound more than what you did at the beginning of the week, then you need to go up 100 to 200 calories, right? That's how you know. Sometimes that number is not gonna be it and you're gonna have to increase. Sometimes it is gonna be it, then you stick to that number and you use it. But understand that whatever number you get, it isn't gonna be the number that you need. You have to actually use it, put that number to work, hit your caloric goals for at least a week and find out what your sweet spot is. You're gonna have to tweak it, go up, go down. But whatever it is, find it, stick to it, be consistent and hit your goals. So hey, quick question of the day. What's your favorite method to figure out what that sweet spot is for you where your gains happen? Comment down below and let everybody in the hard gainer fitness community know what works best for you. Go out there, make some gains. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness where we're all about helping you crush the scale and your fitness goals. You already know what time it is, man. It's time to go out there and make some games. Let's get it.